How much are you worth? The human life is sometimes described as invaluable, but that hasn't stopped people from parsing out other people for cash. The most simplistic calculation for your body's overall worth comes in the form of its chemical breakdown. The human body consists of some pretty basic elements. 63% of your body is oxygen, 18% carbon, about 9% hydrogen, and 10% various other elements. At a weight of 180 pounds, your body would be worth about $500. This number can go as high as $600 depending on the exact composition, but that isn't a whole lot of money, considering a PlayStation 4 bundled with a game goes for about the same price. Needless to say, there is more value in your body than the elements in which it contains. With most things in life, the whole is worth more than the sum of its parts. With humans, this saying holds true more than ever. The black market is home to many of the darker purchases around the world. Without borders or standards, the sale of human body parts has become a staple for this underground organization. In comparison to the legal outlets, the black market is home to not only a wide variety of products, but the prices are about 75% cheaper, and there's no waiting list. It's projected that half of all patients waiting for organs die before they reach surgery. Because of this, it's no surprise that many of these people go to the illegal route. Breaking down your body for sale could generate some serious cash. Bone marrow alone goes for as much as $23,000 per gram whereas a pair of kidneys can go for around $200,000. If you parsed out every ounce of your body into the most valuable manner, your body could be worth as much as $43 million. It should be noted that not all parts of you are worth any money at all. Tattooed skin is nearly worthless, along with smoker's lungs or an alcoholic's liver. Even if 100% of the body was usable, finding a buyer would prove difficult. Because of this, bodies are generally purchased as a whole and parsed out for the usable parts, whereas a full body may go for between eighty and $200,000. A pristine set of kidneys may go for that price alone. This speaks volumes more toward how much people value their own lives as opposed to how much they actually value the body parts of others. Most organ donors don't really get to choose what actually happens to their bodies. Since Iran is the only country that has not criminalized the private sale of human body parts, it doesn't come as a surprise that most of the organs come from executed prisoners with a projected 10% of all organ replacements coming from the black market. Organ trafficking is more prevalent than most people would think. For thousands of years, humans have been purchased, sold, and traded. The worth of a man was typically based on their age and physique, but specialist laborers could be worth a lot more money, with a relatively low maintenance cost. Before the Industrial Revolution, human power was plentiful and cost-effective for rich plantation owners. With an average cost of $800 per slave, they weren't necessarily a cheap commodity. Conservatively speaking, $800 from 1860 would translate to around 23,000 present day dollars. Needless to say, there are ways to increase your overall price. A site called humanforsale.com asks you varying questions about your physique, education level, IQ, and more. As you'd expect, having a more athletic build, a higher education level, and elevated income all contribute to your worth. So if you're young, hit the gym, educate yourself and get a high paying job because if you're ever on the market you'd rather be sold to the highest bidder than the lowest